Okay, so we got this. Yeah. Okay. Now, the, here's the caveat to all this. This is the disposable tubing. Yeah. The reusable tubing is going to look similar, but it's going to have, it's not going to have the bag attached, the drainage bag. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to have, I have, I can get drainage bags to hang on here. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a separate little tubing thing you have to put in there or else it'll drain all over the place. So okay. this is all one system, but the reusable stuff is, like I told you, also has a bottle spike. So there's more like three components to the reusable. Stuff. I forgot whether and, you're and used for to this, use you, you just you just press tune or tune. Yeah, fine tune. I'll show you how to do that once okay. you start. I just want to get all this ready here. This is a mess. What's going on? There we go. There we go. Okay. And uh, yeah, and then we. I need a sleeve really quick, which I have right here. Got all the supplies. Kind of a mess. All right, here we go. Right here. So we've already got the tip on. Yeah, that's nice. The only problem is I need to have a big enough sleeve to... We'll take this. Here's a wrench. But I'm going to get you a bunch of MST tips. I have a ton of them and you'll be able to okay. use those. For a, that will last you a lot of cases. I think this will fit now. That's a, yeah, well, I think so. That should be just fine. And then you just have the proper amount of tip exposure you Sweet. like. Yeah. Okay, and then we have the cap right here to do our prime tune. <coughs> all right, so we're gonna show you how to get this going. I'll throw the cap adjust somewhere else. All right, so tubing, this all loads the same even if it's reusable. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, just pops in. And then this little deal closes. Push and twist to the lock. Mm -hmm. Collars go right here. You have to pull this one down. So take a pick. Got it. Yep. And yeah. Then the whole thing. The reusable tubing is yellow. It's like amber color. Mm -hmm. This is cassette, so it's a little different. It's designed to get autoclaved all the time. And then these need to be all the way down. Mm -hmm. This closed and not like that, but it has to be clicked. Clicked. Yep. So it's okay. nice and flush. Then you know everything is, because it might not pass the prime tune because it won't build them up enough back in during its check if it's not closed. And then this would be a separate, the reusable tubing would be, have a little lure connector here. Oh, okay. And this is a separate little thing on the reusable. So that's how, this is very self-explanatory here, spiking the bottle. Hang it on the ram horn. And then fill the, the little chamber. Okay. A decent amount of fluid to get it flowing nicely. Take a hand piece. We have the tip on. There's what the wrench looks like. It's righty tighty to tighten it and mm -hmm. lefty loosey. Yeah. And it, there's a red dot right on the connector here yeah. to 12 o'clock on the yeah. little receptacle. Very easy to put in there. Make sure they're flush. And then we're able to utilize the two, the irrigation and aspiration tubings. It's the same on reusable. Mm -hmm. Can't put those on incorrectly. They don't fit. They're female to male and vice versa. Yep. Give them a little bit of a push and a twist so they don't come off when you're doing your case. We don't want right. these popping off during surgery. And then I'll put this around so we can see. Remember, what we did here is we selected the doctor. Mm -hmm. Then we selected Prime Tune to get into that Prime Tune screen. Yep. At this point, we can run the Prime Tune all as one, or we can separate these off. I'll show you that after. But for now, we'll do this. We'll initiate the Prime Tune. The bottle height, if it's on the automated IV, goes all the way up. Mm -hmm. And then this has to go down over the to the base of the infusion sleeve, this yeah, test yeah. chamber. Mm -hmm. And it's good, if possible, to have it kind of resting up on the tray. Or if you guys have a separate mail stand, you could do that, let's push this back. And this takes about 75 seconds to run the IA prime, or running fluid through the mm -hmm. system, and then it's gonna go all the way through and come out the bottom. Oh, the drainage bag, with a reusable will not be connected like this. It'll be a separate bag. We can give you those a reusable bag. This technically goes on here, but for now we're just gonna, doesn't matter where that bag is. Okay. People didn't even put it on there when they used it here probably. 
And you can see the prime tune will go through and everything passes, it'll keep going. And then the last 15 to 17 seconds of the entire cycle will be the FACO tune, making sure the tip is tight. It's taking a while here. Yeah, that released the vacuum, pump the out. Now the FACO tune, which you will hear the hissing. Come to know whether that tip is on my inside. Hopefully it is. I didn't tighten it, but it was on there already. Seemed like it was tight. Yeah, it sure sounded good. And now we can tell that it's passing and it's gonna go into your gonna go into FACO 1. That's what we have it programmed yeah. to go into. Perfect. And then we have the foot pedal of course. And normally the reflux, we can set the reflux to either be on here. I think that's yeah. See the R? That's the foot pedal. It tells us what position we're in on the foot pedal. Take out. Uh -huh. Vacuum. Irrigation only is one. At rest, we're at zero. And then if you did click over on one of these, you're getting your reflux, which will open the valve on the side. The yeah, both of reflux. these. Yep, exactly. Both of the side ones are reflux. The clown nose might be reflux also if you happen to bounce out there. You can see it yeah. does that yeah. too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and then um, to change into your FACO 2 or your segment removal or mm -hmm, quadrant mm -hmm. removal, you simply hit the sub mode button on either the remote control, which is a miniature version of the screen. You hit the sub mode button, and it'll change it to FACO 2, and then you're able to take the pieces out after cracking the nucleus. Perfect. And you have that pulse in there. Yep. And of course, if you need to change any of the aspiration, vacuum, or power columns, uh, what you do is you, you hit the purple button underneath. Yeah. Let's say we run into a very dense cataract. We'll highlight the back and the plus and minus, just like one of the microscopes, will increase the power. Right at the max. Can it always come back to where it was before? Like at the yeah, next case? the next case it'll come back to where it was before, right. the default setting, if mm -hmm. you will. And uh, that would be the most common one. You probably won't be changing the flow and back super much, but you, if you needed to, it's simply a matter of getting used to doing that. Yeah. Up or down, mm -hmm. but you have to, you can't just start this because it doesn't know which variable. You right. have to initiate which column you want to and then, pick. And then when you want to get out of that, what do you do? You press it again? Nope, it'll automatically just go, oh, I see. Yeah, it'll automatically, uh, after about, Five ten seconds, it'll go away. Okay. Then you have to re-hit that if you wanted to change it again. Okay. So if we were to change this back to where we had it, now you'll notice the backlighting will go away in a few seconds, and you'd be forced to reinitiate okay. which column. If we still were doing this now, it'd still work, but this will go away. I don't know what how many seconds. Probably ten to fifteen, twenty. Yeah. Um, there we go. Gone. So and then so after you're done fakoing, mm -hmm. then then it just goes to high. You got it. That's your what we call a major mode. These are major modes, and then the sub modes are in a major mode. And with right. it, in the given sub mode, your different parameter mm -hmm. changes. So this is always going to be cortex removal, the very first one, I A one. And then, and then you would do sub mode. And then what we had for you is a polish or cat back setting for I A two. That's why the values are so low there. It's designed mm -hmm. to just be very safe if you're polishing. Right. Yeah. And then this would be visco removal. Oh, if you had a dispersive viscoelastic agent yeah. like visco or endocoat, that's what you'd use with the higher flow to get it out after the mm -hmm. high walls in the eye. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you can use this also. Okay. You know, cycle between those three IAs. Okay. And then really quick, back to FACO. Just to make sure, because we had the first two, do you ever use, Epi would be third. FACO 3 is the epinuclear with a very low uh, power, lower vacuum. Everything's a little more hmm. okay. mellow because you just have the shell, so I don't know if you need yeah. that. And then, um, so yeah, INA and then VIT. Okay. Irrigation, cut aspiration, and the sequence and the foot okay. pedal. So as you step down into one, you're irrigating only, I. Step into two, you'll hear that. You can't really hear the exact cutter uh, work. Probably because my plugged in, maybe? Probably. Yeah. But you could see how it's driving it. If it would be mm -hmm. plugged in, you'd hear yeah. it. It's real silent, this one, compared to like a signature yeah. one where you hear all that noise. Mm -hmm. And then you, remember, you don't get any aspiration until you're in foot pedal three. You're always going to cut before you suck vitreous, which is normally right. what everyone yeah. wants. 
Right. If you really wanted to use the VIC cutter to remove cortex, however, you'd have to hear, go here and hit the minus, or go to irrigation aspiration cut. Oh, okay. You wouldn't get any cutting until you get into the third position. Mm -hmm. Or you could do side VIT. <clears throat> so if you're stepping down in the foot pedal, now you're not getting any VIT cutting. That, that's what I would actually use for IA, because until you would go sideways, see how it's going to 451. Yeah, yeah. That would be a way to initiate the cutting only on the left, on the side switches, the little left or right switches. Okay. Okay, uh, so that's that. Yeah, and then this, uh, let's, let me show you the bit, of course, that plugs in here. Oh, weird. Missing the tip. Yeah, so we need to get, uh, we'll get the cover on here, but oh, this could be out of here. Yeah. Um, so this plugs in very easily. There's a little red dot that plugs into the middle one here where it says VIT. We're not going to run it in the air right now, but mm -hmm. the aspiration line is here. Now this one does not have the irrigation sleeve. Yeah, the sleeve is in here though, however. This is what the irrigation sleeve looks like. Oh, okay. It has blue for irrigation. Mm -hmm. And that simply, very carefully, needs to be put through on there, it clicks on. And then mm -hmm. if you want to do a coaxial vitrectomy where the infusion is coming out of the, right near where the, where the aspiration is, you just hook these two phaco tubings. They can't be hooked incorrectly. Just get hooked into these also. Now here's the crazy thing. Well, the blue doesn't go to the blue, which is confusing. <laughs> Okay. They can't go incorrect. That's yeah. the thing to remember is you can't put them on incorrectly because they won't fit. Right. So that's what it looks like in the coaxial mode. And then if you did, if you don't want to use the infusion on here, you could have a separate side port, side port chamber maintainer mm -hmm. or a IA handpiece, like a bimanual IA handpiece. You could do a bimanual <laughs> approach to doing a bit also. Yeah. So, so you kind of go with what you have when you're in Tanzania. Right. right. Available. This thing we're going to treat with kid gloves. We want to make sure this doesn't, this can get bent very easy if we don't do this. We're going to redo this before we uh, have it packed up. So that's essential. And then the cautery is diathermy. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that can be used. You don't have to be prime tuned to use your cautery. So if, if you have a procedure you're doing a cautery on, you don't need to have a machine prime tuned, of course, to use mm -hmm. cautery. And this just plugs in. To the bottom one, yeah. and then and the any universal. Is, you, okay, so this this part though is something that we have to get from. This is a specific machine specific. Yes, part. exactly. Okay. It's machine specific. So, yeah, I we might need to get you more, a couple more of those. Let's get these.